Hallo, hallo, hallo. Today is April 9. I posted the pulley problem two days ago. And by now, I have received more than 200 answers. That's the good news. The bad news is that only 10 of those 200 answers are correct. I'm totally shocked. This is a problem that I gave for my high school class in 1961 in the Netherlands. Those kids were 15 years old. It was not a bloodbath. But this bi-weekly physics problem is a bloodbath. There was a very famous physicist, Nobel laureate, Wolfgang Pauli. When he read something which was totally ridiculous, or someone said something in a meeting which was, <laughs> yeah, let's say totally ridiculous, he would say, not only is it not right, but it is not even wrong. <laughs> think about, think about it, what that means. I've used this my whole life, this statement, to people when I sometimes said, what you just said is not even wrong. Many of the solutions that I have received are not even wrong. Totally absurd. Even if you knew no physics at all. I have answers that the acceleration of M1 is 45 meters per second square. Holy micron. How the hell do you ever come up with such an absurd number? That's only one example. I got many solutions which were 50 lines. Yes, five zero lines. And most of them are not even wrong. Obviously, the solution takes five lines. It comes down to free body diagrams, F equals MA. And it comes down to torque equals I alpha. That's all what it is about. I may give you some hints if that helps you. So what are the key issues that are at stake here? One is, of course, that the elevator is being accelerated. Well, you'll have to deal with that somehow. There are difficult ways to deal with it, and there are easy ways to deal with it. But that's not the hardest part. Then, there is the pulley. And the pulley is going to be rotating clockwise. The pulley will only rotate clockwise if there is a torque on the pulley. If there's a torque on the pulley, it means that the tension in the string on the right must be larger than the tension in the string on the left. Many of you do not realize that. Therefore, many of you think that the tension in the string at the very top is 105 newtons. That would be true if the pulley were blocked, couldn't rotate, but, but it is rotating. The 105 answer is not right, but at least it's not ridiculous. It's clear what mistake people have made. 
So don't feel bad if you have 105. Yes, it's wrong. But Pauli's statement <laughs> that is not correct but not even wrong does not apply. Then there is one more issue and that has to do with pure roll. There is no slippage of the string on the pulley. That's very important because that means there is a geometric connection between the angular acceleration of the pulley and the linear acceleration of M1 and M2. And we've dealt with that before in other problems. It came up with the yo-yo problem, but not only with the yo-yo problem. So, in summary, it all comes down to three body diagrams, torque equals I alpha, and some common sense. I will post my solutions uh, four days from now, I think. I will post two solutions. One which you may find the easiest, but the second one is a little bit more clever. So I'll do both. Yes, I'm shocked. How is it possible that this problem, which for Dutch people who were 15 years old, at least in 1961, was a reasonable problem. How is it possible that for you people, much more advanced, it's a blood pass? Keep in mind that whenever I post your answers, it's wrong. And the 10 that were correct, I didn't post. <laughs> All right, yes, 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 we will still try to be friends, of course. Today is Monday, April 9. It's early in the morning here, Eastern Daylight Time. I'm still in pajamas. So have a nice day and take care.